Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand and or not logical connectors in SQL. So, these and or not keywords or the logical connectors in SQL, they are used to bind the logical expressions. So, if you want to bind two logical expressions and uh, generate an output, these and or and or are used and not is used on unary expression so on one expression the not is used so as we already know that the and generates the use of and logical operator is going to generate an output of true only if both the expressions are true if both the expressions on either sides of and operator are true then only it is going to produce an output of uh, true and similarly if you consider or operator whenever we use or operator if any one of the expression or both the expressions are true then only the output is going to be true see here uh, this is true and in this case this is true and here both the expressions are true then also it is going to produce an output of true and if you consider not operator not not operator is used on unary expression on one single expression now uh, it is an unary operator so whenever this expression the expression generates an output of false the the negation of this output will get generated so in order to break up in order the output to be true by the use of not operator the expression should generate an output of false if it is false then it is going to produce an output of true so these are the logical uh, logical approach of and or and not so let's try to understand this concept by using the query write a query to find uh, find the male students whose salary is greater than 200 so let's try to go to our uh, uh, standard example that we are following from our previous videos this is our students table and what we have done is we have added a new column called section column the, uh, the students belonging to a particular section so every student is belonging to a particular section so vikram is belonging to section a b so section a akshara belonging to section b so this this is how the new column has been added for better understanding so what we are going to do is so uh, here what happens here in this query is uh, the query is so let's try to understand the query select from students where sex is equal to m and salary is e greater than 200 so what is the query uh, asked is we have to find all the male students all the male students whose salary is greater than 200 all the male students and their salary should be greater than 200 so for that to happen we have to use the and operator so this is the query to find all the male students whose salary is greater than 200 think of this logic so let's try to execute this logic so see here so the male students here we have a male student but the salary is not greater than 200 the salary is less than 200 so we are going to, we are not going to consider this row here the second row the uh, the student the sex is of female so he is a uh, she is a female student and the salary is also not greater than 200 for example if you consider this male student and the salary is greater than 300 so it is accepted the output female student so this is false one of the expression is false and the salary is greater than 200 it is accepted but both should be true so this row will be rejected similarly if you take this uh, male student and the salary is greater than 200 so this row will also get accepted the, that is the use of and operator logical connector next the query is write a query to find the students of section a or c if the student belonging to so try to understand the logic if the student belong to a or he belong to section c so then those those students are accepted so all the students of a and c sections will be accepted okay so now this is the query by with the use of or operator let's try to execute this and see see here so in this who are uh, who else will get accepted first student c a c so four students will get accepted so let's try to execute this query section a or section c 
see here all the four students has been accepted only one student rejected because he belonged to section b if the student belong to a or section c all the students will get accepted so let's try to understand another query so here what it is stating is a query to find students of section a or c means a student should be of section so all the students of a or c are to be accepted all the students of section a and c will or if he belongs to a or c will get accepted and so the students in section a a and c whose salary is greater than 200 has to be accepted so the a and c section students so whose salary is greater than 200 has to be accepted so let's try to execute these queries here the query is section a or section c and salary greater than 200 let's try to execute this and see what the output is going to be see here is it going to be uh, right output please try to verify this see here salary greater than 200 but here the salary greater than 100 is also accepted why what is the mistake in this query so uh, uh, in what way it has to be executed so let's try to understand this see here here what happened here is it is going to generate uh, the output is going to be error on us so why it is going to be error on us is uh, see here the end is having highest precedence so uh, among end or not the precedence will be high for and and it goes low so the precedent for uh, or is less and not is less when compared with and so what happened so the expressions which are on the either side the expressions on either side of and so this is how the query is going to be okay so if this is true or this is true then the output is going to be true okay so what happened in our uh, uh, table is see here if this is true if uh, if section a is true then it will get accepted or if the section c or salary greater than 200 if that condition is true then also that will get accepted so that is the disadvantage that is that is the considerations that we have to understand so that that considerations ought to be very uh, uh, very so th those are to be considered while writing the queries so in the combination of and and or if you are using the combination of and and or that that those things ought to be considered the precedence has to be considered so the same query if you write uh, write it in this way so this is what we we want to accept if a or c is true so the parents is having highest precedence if this is true and the salary is greater than 200 is true so now we are getting the right point a or c section the students of a or c are to be accepted and their salary should be greater than 200 has to be accepted only those students details are to be accepted so let's execute this see here now this this has not been accepted because the student is belonging to a and the salary should be greater than this is true and this should also be true okay okay so these three students are uh, accepted because uh, he is belonging to c c section c student and the salary is greater than 200 yes it is accepted section a student and the salary is greater than 400 section c student and the salary is greater than 500 so all these three students will get accepted okay so the next query is a student whose salary is not greater than 200 so not greater than 200 so uh, the salary the students whose salary not greater than 200 is he is the student and he is the student that needs to be considered so these students salary is greater than 200 so they, they should not be considered so for that we have to use this is how the query will be okay okay so let's copy paste the query not greater than 200 
not greater than 200 so these are the students whose salary is not greater than 200 okay so this is all about uh, uh, and or not logical connectors in sql hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching